Which oh, means? look at you! <laughs> Wicked Jenny. It is Women's History Month. <laughs> and apparently this woman knows a little bit about her music from way back when. <laughs> anyway, today we are highlighting a young lady making history in science, technology, engineering and math, otherwise known as... STEM. Good job. Janelle yes. McCoy was named a global ambassador for Huawei Seeds for the Future program. The only Caribbean person in the mix of 10 people from all across the world, which means she is the only Jamaicano representing Jamaica mm -hmm. and the wider Caribbean in ICT on the world stage, one of the biggest telecommunications companies in the world. Congrats. Most full there. Congrats, congrats, congrats. congrats. You're going with yourself. A bag of things and then more. How does it feel to wear that title? To be very honest, it's not, I, I wouldn't say proud, it's just a humbling feeling, honestly. Mm -hmm. It really is. How were you chosen, Janine? Okay, so it's really um, a selection process that takes place. The, the, um, to be a global ambassador, it really went through three stages. Mm -hmm. But what really qualifies you to be that is first taking part in the Huawei Seeds for the Future program. And that's a program geared towards just and enabling youths to have more like a better idea in tech and to learn to learn about the technological advancement so it was a program geared towards that having completed that program in 2022 mm -hmm. um i saw this um flyer going out about, about global ambassador i wasn't sure what it was i was just really curious about it and i applied for it and having applied the written application um i was shortlisted from over 300 plus applicants <laughs> So got a bit of glory. <laughs> then nice. moving on to um, a video composition that was a stage two, where 50 applicants were now selected to create a video on a topical issue. And having shared that video, well, my topic was really women in ICT because that's an issue. Um, that really garnered the vote of over 35,000 persons globally. And that moved on to the next round of being a global ambassador, um, being shortlisted as one of the top 10. Then you know, they may relate it, right? No. Yeah, man. <laughs> she say, yeah, man, are you fighting with me? She no. say, yeah, man, she all know James Brown. I mean, trying to scam the big people as well. You cannot scam the children. Look out for the children. Congrats. But why are you in this area in the first place? What led you to, to this area? Okay, when you say this area, what exactly what you mean? STEM. 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 Yeah. All right, okay, good. So, I've always been somebody who... I really have a thing about healthcare. I'm passionate about that, but I've always been hands-on, and I guess it's my dad too because he has that hands-on aspect of him and growing around him too. That was something that was a part of me. So I want to, I want to be able to fix stuff and do stuff. That's something that's always been there. Although, as I grew, I was really transitioning into working in the hospital or being in the healthcare sector. But that aspect was still there, so how do I mesh the two? And also the knowledge of where we are today, recognizing that we are in a digital age, a digital era, things are, are going there. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought it was good to position myself to be adaptable for such change. And so, correction to what was said, I'm not an engineering student, I'm really a medical physics student or an aspiring medical physicist. <laughs> Make it even worse. <laughs> Wait, that name? <laughs> Sorry? What do that mean? Medical physicist. Yes. All right. What? Okay, so. It's me, you make helicopter. No, I don't make helicopter. I don't tease me. <laughs> <laughs> tease me, I don't tease. All right, so I, I really like to, um, to just give you. When I, when I try to explain something like this, I try to start from an area of known to unknown so you can have a better understanding of it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you ever have a need to go to the hospital to do any sort of screening, um, to get a scan, a CT scan, an X-ray done, are you, my, my position as a medical physicist is really important to all of that. All right, let me continue now. Good. So you know the radiologist, right? Yep. That person, yep. <laughs> that person is the, the, the one who went to med school for maybe like X amount of years and decided that, okay, this is my specialty. Then you have the radiographer. This is the person or the radiologist will order a scan and the radio, radiographer is the person who carries out that. But all of that would not come together in one nice thing without the medical physicist, who's the person who ensures that the patient is having the right amount of radiation exposure. The machine is properly calibrated okay. so that things work smoothly. So that's a mechanic. Then <laughs> <laughs> well. So, so you fix Charlie. You know, <laughs> no. <mechanic. laughs> There's a thing. It's a machine mechanic. It's very simple, Jan. That's all. <laughs> Well, from the start. So I'd be impressive. careful in saying that though. I'll really be careful we because there is another. All right. No, no, all right. no problem. We, just, we are so impressed. Tell me about your recent experience in Colombia now. This is a Huawei Latin American Caribbean ICT Talent Summit. Right. Lots of hands on training there. 
Well, I did. Yeah, tell yeah. me. Okay, so, um, well, really, it was... I was invited to be a part of a panel discussion um, in tech um, at a talent summit. Mm -hmm. So that was really what it was. And it was also a reunion with other members of the SEEDS community because it's a wide community of over like 100,000 persons across the world. So it was really a good experience doing that. Um, one of the things that really stood out to me, I was sharing stage with um, persons from UNESCO and different um, members of parliament from different countries, the Chile Chilean government as well. And we're able to talk about issues that um, are just the need for young people in tech because we really, we really are at the forefront of the next wave. Yeah. So, so it was really important. And I realized that they stressed the, um, the importance of youth as a mean, a key, an asset in human resource for the digital age. As, as a global ambassador, your role, you're expected to do what? Okay, so I'm a global ambassador for the Seeds for the Future program. Okay. So my role is always linked. It goes back to that program. It's really to spread awareness about technology and leadership and all of that. Um, it's really to embody that program, share my experience with others. And it's a personal platform to just really impart knowledge to other persons and help other persons. And how do you do that? All right, so, so far I've been um, privileged to... to be called upon to speak at certain events like um, the women in ICT events locally or most recently I was called upon to go to Costa Rica, well, was it Costa Rica? Yes, it was Costa Rica. Yes. <laughs> Costa Rica. <laughs> to speak, um, to just engage with a few students who have the aspiration or they really desire to do something in tech. But, you know, then I, I speak with them. Um, how, do I, how I do that is really to just share my experience with them and to really encourage them that if this is something that you want to do, you pursue it. You know, because a lot of time you find that women are capable in this area, but there's a lot of stereotype around it. And so my thing is, if it, my thing is to really empower somebody and in, encourage someone that if it is that it comes to it where you're selected or you're a candidate for a role, you should not be chosen because you're merely a woman, but because you truly have the skill and the will to fit that bill. So that's the encouragement I try to skill say. Skill and, and the will to, to fit, fit that, that bill. bill. <laughs> that's in your tail. She's a poet too. Yeah, go on. She never knew yeah, it. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm so impressed. Well done, lady. Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Future is bright for this medical physicist, aka machine mechanic. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so your so so your area of study in that. Oh, in, you up to win. Okay. Oh, actually, um, most recently, I'm, I'm a part of the last cohort of graduate at the University of the West Indies. Excellent. So, yeah, so my next step is to go on to do my master's in medical physics. Um, actually, now you're looking at each other. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> what I really want to do is be a clinical medical physicist. physicist. So work in the hospital setting. Mm. Like I tell you, that mixture of just hands-on and yeah. people mm. and the healthcare, it's coming in. Yeah. So yeah. that's really what I want to do, but I'm unable to do that just yet without a master's degree. That's really the prerequisite. And the master's is how many years? Um, it depends on where. So some programs will take you up to um, like two years, some some programs are 16 months, but um, most recently I got into a program that I'm really happy about, and it's a year. Um, God willing, should I go through yeah. Well, there's always no yeah. seminar, but right? But now I feel proper fool, dance. Fool. No, Sometimes we have some guests on here that make no, us no, just no, feel no, like no, under feel proper dance, but okay. I'm so impressed. Yes. Congratulations, and God bless you and your family. Thank Keep you so much, sir. John Jr., yeah. proud of you. Yeah, Janine McCoy, Global Ambassador for the Huawei Seeds for the Future. She's on the TV. You can't call her phone now. Hello? Yeah. She's going to answer it. See her right there? She can't answer? Yeah, that bring it, make sure answer. Yeah, bring it. Bring it, make sure. After the break, we're discussing... No, my more I hear is... After the break, we're discussing a cultural exchange program on Taylor Hall. Soon come. <laughs>